This is Earth Radio. And now here's human music. enough for the kitchen. If I put any more in we're not going to be able to stack up the fridge so we'll leave it at that. Finish anything else? We might go check on Teddy on the walker. very successful endurance horse but she <laughs> is the biggest tomboy like I mean look at this so in endurance competitions you don't have to clean your horse. I mean, you're not going to lose any points, you're not going to be marked down for it, um, it's not going to affect their competition, their performance so much. The reason I do do it is because it gives me an opportunity to look the horse over in great detail, to feel if there's any nicks, swelling, bumps that weren't there last time, cuts that weren't there last time, heat, things like that. So it's a really good way of checking your horse all over in detail before you leave. Um, and then if you live in a tick area as well, um, you probably should be washing your horse before you go anywhere anyway. Everywhere and they're crawling up my legs. Woo! Let's hope we get some rain though. That'd be great. I've majorly underestimated the difficulty of these paddock flaps. So I'm about to put on even more. Just a coconut conditioner. And they're really It's only two weeks ago that I gave her a bath and it was beautiful. Didn't think so, though. Once again. Alright, is Teddy done? 
Spotty Spicy actually does really last off. That's Teddy's default face. If we were going to a show, it would be completely different. That's all about how beautiful they are. But this is just endurance. Oh, buddy, you've got some mega nuts, man. It's all about function and fitness, not so much looks, but I do like for them to look as good as possible. While they still have the opportunity to just be horses and you know, be themselves in the paddock. That's the thing with raffles. Sure, I could brush her mane every day. But, oh, she is still going to roll a couple of times a day. It's just her favorite thing to do. She likes to be dirty. Oh, there's 